there. That's a live look from our Hilton San Diego Bayfront Hotel camera. Uh, the rain is gone for now. Hey, it's coming back next week, but the sun is here just in time for spring break. On today's Ask the Derm, board certified dermatologist Dr. Billy Groff from Cosmetic Laser Dermatology with how to protect your family over spring break. Dr. Groff, always good to see you. Great to see you. We love the sun. It's awesome. It's but beautiful. it's not the greatest for our skin. No, uh, definitely not. <laughs> okay, what's rule number one? What is the basic thing that you should do uh, when it comes to protecting your skin? Well, rule number one, of course, is sunblock. So when you're looking for a sunblock, particularly for the kids, you want to find one that says broad spectrum. Broad spectrum. You want it to be a 30 or higher. Okay. And you also want to make sure for the kids, um, you want zinc and titanium dioxide to be the active ingredients. Because okay. those are mineral blocks, so no chemicals. Okay. That way we can get away with doing something like this. What is that? Now this is a stick. These oh. are This is great for the face. Watch this. I can put that right up, look into the camera. Oh, I need one of those. Look, right up to her eye. It doesn't irritate or bother. We can do the nose, the chin, you can even do the lips. Squirming when you try look to do that. that. What thing? What is well, that? Well, nice called? thing. It's um. This is made by a company called Sunbomb. Okay. Okay, but it, it has zinc and titanium, so it doesn't irritate. So you can put it right up to the eye. Okay. And you know the kids love it. Actually, this is what they request when I apply their sunblock. Okay, love. <laughs> so we got the sunblock. Okay. And the SPF. Aha. Uh -huh, so next clothing, particularly for the kitties again. If you look, both girls, we got Piper here, AKA Wild. We have Jenna, <laughs> AKA Bubbly. Cute. But A, they got hats on, okay? So the hats shade the face from the sun. Got it. B, we have these sun protective clothing. These shirts actually have an, uh, it's called an ultraviolet protection factor of 50. So it gives you 50 times the protection uh, what normally you would have just with your skin. So okay. these are amazing. We always have the kids wear these when we're out at the beach. Okay. Lastly, you can see they have these uh, sand shoes. Now these protect your feet, A, against the sun, but also against things like coral, stingrays, anything that I can hurt your feet. Those. Yeah, they're awesome. I mean, especially when the sand's high, you can yeah. walk in the sand and it doesn't burn your feet. I love that. Okay, yeah. um, so you're talking about dangers in the surf because the kids, they, they want to cool off and they want right. to go in there, but yeah, there yeah. are things, and I don't go in the water. There are things <laughs> in the water, like what, what should they do? Be careful for Well, them. let's think about this. Living in San Diego, we know, anyone who's been to the beach knows there's a ton of stingrays. Yes. So the most important thing when the girls or the kids, your kids, and even you are going out into the ocean is to do the stingray shuffle. Girls, how do you do the girls stingray do shuffle? It. So you slide your feet, slide, 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 slide. Slide, 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 slide. And that slide. way the stingray won't bite, he'll just scurry away. Because otherwise if you step on him, yes. his spine will come up right into your leg and then oh, it's a That ER doesn't visit. sound fun. And what's a cone snail sting? What is that? Oh, a cone snail? Yeah, what is a cone, cone snail? Cone snail, I think we have a picture of yeah. one, but a cone snail is a very, it has a <gasps> very, yeah. It's got a very decorative shell. And you can see it's got that harpoon-like projection coming out of it. So if you pick up a pretty shell like that, it can sting you and it can even, sometimes these can, people die from getting stung by these. So these animals are very dangerous. You do not want to pick up any pretty shells. Yeah, see, that's why I just don't go in there. What? What? what, what, what you want to say something? Oh. oh, wait, hold on. Let me bring the microphone so everybody can hear you. What do you want to say? When we went to Tahiti, there's these people that had the cone snail, and our parents showed us pictures of them, and then this guy told us you can actually get killed in under three minutes. Oh, my gosh, were you scared? Yeah. Yeah, I would be, too. I, I would be put too. It <laughs> put it back. Put it back. Okay. And finally, what is this delicious okay, drink that's lastly, in front of me? Okay. Lastly, if we're on spring break for the adults, of course, you might enjoy a margarita. And Raul told me he likes his with extra salt and a uh, double tequila. Because he's anyway, salty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But the lime is the dangerous part. If you are squeezing the lime and it drips down on your arm or onto your hand okay. like this, and then it gets exposed to the sun, it's like magnifying the sun by a hundred. No. Yeah. So you can get really, really badly burned and blistered, and you can get an awful injury. So you got to make sure if you're out in the sun to wash your hands after you uh, squeeze the lime. <laughs> I never even thought about that. Yeah, I thought like when that stuff spills or oil called, or anything, I'm like, just rub it down yeah. and let's rotisserie up like a chicken. It's actually called margarita dermatitis. Wow. It's a really bad, nasty reaction. Did it? No. Dr. Groff, yeah. thank you for being your really good You're tips. Welcome. I'm going to run right inside and buy those sand socks. Yeah, they're awesome. And I'm buying the, the Sun Bum. Martinez, Sun Bum. Margarita derma something. Yes. That's, that's margarita. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, doctor.